Hi there, my name is Funman, and here I am to show you how to use the CamDraw Pro, the latest version. So, you see here, we have the windows open for you on this program, and you can draw many chemical molecules in any ways you like. 3D, 2D, maybe not 4D, maybe in the future, but you can see these are all the things you can draw. So I'm going to show you how you do it. It's not that hard, actually. So follow me through. Alright, now first thing right, you could do is, or what I would do, is to go to File, and of course I click New ACS Document 1996. There are many kinds of template, many kinds of template. When I say Document Setting, you should always apply it from ACS Document 1996, because this is the most convenient one, and the molecules are cuter that way, and I tend to believe that most of the professors would like to use this at least for my university. So select this. Okay, since it's true, so let's click yes. You see that? What happens is right, all this becomes smaller from just now. So what you do is you have a ha I have a hack for you, which is you press control and you roll the mouse in, you see now it becomes cuter. One more time, I control Z. See that? This wasn't the ACS 1996 version, the template, it wasn't. Okay, so I, what I did was, I go to file, apply document setting from this, and you see what happens. I click yes to all, it becomes very cute. I zoom in, control, you hold on to it, and roll the mouse in, you see? Now the bonds are shorter, and you can see the elements better. Now first thing you'll do is, right, let's say you like to highlight a structure that you have just drawn. So this is what you do, right? Now. You can put it up first, and then put a corner to enlarge it, alright. And now, let's say this is a bit too close, you can drag it aside, unless you want to make the arrow curvier, you can always play around with it. You know, rotate it, you see? Alright, oh, this is nasty. <laughs> let's say you want to add some electron, you go to the left hand side here, you have a charge, lone pair, I put lone pairs on this, you see? Then how do how do I make this orientation right? I click on this part here, and then I select the lone pair, and I do some rotation. You see, make it nice. All right. So I want to delete this. I just put my cursor there, and then I click delete. And if I want to show you that this bond is the one that I drew, then I go to color on the right side, hold and click maybe another color. I press and change color. See that? Another color, I hold on to this bond first, I click blue, you see? Beautiful indeed, right? Blue, red, and black. So, let's say I delete all this. I don't need to because my blank space is so much, so I roll down, you see I have a new working place. So let's say I want to draw some hydrocarbon, I can click on this button here, right? Um, then I click on the space, they'll ask me how many carbon chains do I need? Okay, oh, 64, that's too many. So let's say I just want to have 7, okay? I just click 7 and enter to give me a very nice alkane chain called heptane. So here, on this dot here, you know this dot, which means a carbon, this is a skeleton structure, so I just click 1. See, it forms a double bond. Look at that, not hard, right? If I want to extend to octane, go ahead. One more time. And from here, you see, the bond goes out. Now what if you click too many times on the same atom? Then you click, it goes up one more time, click, right? One more time is fine, right? Because carbon comes from group 4, can form 4 bonds, but then nothing more. So, you click one more time, you see, there's a red color there, it says that it's something wrong with the structure. So if I put my cursor there and I press on my keyboard a P, this is fine because phosphorus comes from the nitrogen series. From group 5, you can form a maximum of 5 bonds, so you see, this is perfect. Now, if I want to add the bromine here, I could actually place my cursor there and press B. You see, that's BR. If I want a fluorine, I put F. These are shortcuts. If not, you can just go to A, which means text. You highlight this part, then you can key in um, CL, chlorine. Alright? Along the line. Let's say I want to label this as compound X. So I put my cursor there, again, text, compound X. See, it's good. Right. But what if you accidentally, um, when you're trying to do something, you pull all this apart and then it looks so nasty and so bad? Fret not. You just need to highlight this molecule here, right? And Control Shift K. 
what did I do? One more time. It was this, so I can do right click, and I can do molecule clean up structure, make it beautiful. Can of course you can do a rotation, any way you like, right? They are the same thing. So suppose I want to delete this bromine atom, so I click, I place my cursor there and press delete, 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 delete. You see, back to the wrong one, so I delete this. Another thing you need to take note will be you go to object, oh, object, yes, right. You need to make sure that fixed length and fixed angles are checked. If not, you have a structure that's very haywired. It doesn't look good. Now, what if you want to draw a benzene ring? Two ways. Here, you have some shortcut, cyclohexane. You draw, click one more time. You see, there's so many you can do, right? Wow. <laughs> so let's zoom into one of them. You can do this. One, two, three. Here you go, benzene. But let's say you want an even faster way, you can click here, benzene, template, benzene. So many benzenes for you. <laughs> and templates again, cyclopentadiene, and cyclopentane, cyclopropane, etc. Suppose you want to do uh, nitration of um, bromobenzene. So from benzene, you can click here, one more bond up, put a B here, that's bromine, and nitrobenzene, you can place a bond here and then press N. When you press N, you get NH2, aniline. So how do I change it to NO2? I click A, text, put my cursor there, click the right side here, make sure that this is checked because right, all the numbers that you type will be automatically be subscript according to organic structure. So I can delete and O2, you see, automatic. Now suppose you do not do that. Do you do not check this. Uh. So let's say I put N here. You see when I press N is sodium, right? <laughs> it, it's not true because sodium doesn't form any covalent bonds here. We know that. So press A, play my cursor there. You see if I do not check this, watch here. Then I press NO2. What happens? This is not nice, right? Superscript. So I can highlight this and click that. That will do as well. But which is faster? You decide. So I want to delete this. Let's say these two are getting too close for comfort, but I want to highlight this only. You see, I highlighted this part here. So when I move, you see this gets dragged along. Not very good. So no worries. Control Z first, back to here. I want to only select this cyclohexane. I go to lasso function and start to trace the outline. You see? Here you go. Ah, I took it out. Easy. For equation, let's say I want to have a benzene becoming a cyclohexane. So from here, arrow, that's all. And what is the condition? Maybe I can put down here, you need hydrogen gas, right? Platinum catalyst, high pressure, very high temperature. Maybe I'll say even 800 degrees Celsius. Okay, along this line. All right. And let's say you have some cyclohexane and there's a stereochemistry involved here. You can press on this kind of function. The wedge bond, they are both very courageous. Click here, you get one of them. Click here, then you get an error because there shouldn't be any bond facing up. So you delete it. Here, here you go. The other side will be the hash lines. See? Uh, stereochemistry. And if I'm not sure of the stereochemistry, I click on this. This means it can go either way, up or down, to the front or to the back of the plane. And what else is there? Next, we go to ah, template. So here we have so many kinds. You know, you want to draw some biological molecules. Um, let's say you want to have some amino acid. You can click on this, screen through first, and then press. You see? structure comes out. You don't have to key in every single one. It saves you a lot of time. What else is there? You also have aromatic. Aromatic in terms of... Remember this? Alright, does it look like something to you? Remember? Is it fullerene? Or... The other one's fullerene. You see, there are two balls here, right? Uh, 
Okay, be careful. Ah, which is fluorine? <laughs> Think about it. <laughs> okay, you can also join them together. Press the bond here, and you can link the bonds together. You see, link. Ah, you see, I just join it, but then it doesn't make sense. <laughs> so what I'm saying, you can play around. Triple bond, elongate, single bond, single bond, single bond. So if you. Okay, so next part here. What else do we have? Click where this is good for teaching. You need this, a two net round bottom flask for your lab work. And of course, here also some bicyclic structure. Right? Very beautiful 3D diagram for you to use. And what else is there? Clipware part 2, condenser, you can see, confirmers. Right? This is the. Newman projection, right? Yes, Newman projection, and this is the staggered, staggered confirmation. And if you want eclipse, you can press this, right? So you can place the atoms here: H, Br, fluorine. So much steric strain. <laughs> and what else is there? You want to see from sideways, right? Yeah. Right, to see how the strains is like if I put a a third butyl group. So, one, two, three, third butyl group. You see, love steric strain. That's how you see it. Three D conformation. Plenty more. CP ring, cyclohexane, any size you like. It's all here. DNA. Just choose one of them. Voila. Hexo sugar. No, functional groups, they are, they are so kind, they give you everything. Oh. Nanotubes, phenol ring. You can use this for chemistry, any, any kinds of chemistry, organic, inorganic, analytical, physical, steel chemistry. Wow. Right? Okay, so. What else is that? Ah, chair confirmation. So again here, press on chair. Chair, you want it the other way, chair confirmation. Then you can press the bonds here. You see now they're not aligned, right? Because they're supposed to go up. So I can select this bond and move it up, be vertical. Then here, delete first. I select one more bond here. This is the equatorial position. That was Excel, right? So I put the B, F, suppose. All right. Mm. Next. Okay, all these are structures. You can box them up nicely, right? Beautiful. This is compound P. Okay, move it to the center. Here you go. And if you want to insert a structure that's very complex, but let's say you know the name, you can go to online, find structure from ACX number or I just type the name so let's say you want to find ibuprofen right a drug here and it pops out within a couple of seconds here we go oh where is it so maybe somewhere there I control I zoom out was it there ah here you go you see it came here this is ibuprofen they give it to you and what if we want something else so let me just click everything. Online name, I put Viagra, and ah, here you go. See, complex structure, right? So you can take almost anything from the internet. <laughs> okay, let me just wrap this up. What else can you do? Some magic trick. Hmm. Mm, okay, let me just go back to all these structures here. You can erase, of course, but I like to use on my keyboard delete button. Now, so TLC, right? You can try to draw this. Right, left one is TLC plate. They ask for how many lanes? Okay, I'll be less ambitious. Four lanes. See, they gave you all these spots here. Very beautiful. How to adjust them? You can shift it up, of course, but then you see, right click, color. Oh, red color to differentiate them if it is printed in color. Then you click on the TLC. 
right okay right click and then TLC sport you can say show RF value for this right and then you can also add sport and you move it around you can key in it's nice you don't have to use Microsoft Word you don't have to draw every time draw a box draw a dotted line it saves you a lot of time and it's more professional that way and what if your spot is too concentrated and then this spot here bow right bow bigger because it's too concentrated so for this maybe it's a bit faint dashed see that and what else is there double right diffusion I guess pretty much that's it oh wait one more thing orbitals you want to show how the orbitals interact you can place it here so these two orbitals are the p orbitals you're putting side by side they're having a interaction right that's good it will form the pi bond sideway overlap and of course the other orbitals here you can use s orbital right like a ball huh right sphere oh just one more thing let's say you want to transfer all these molecules in your powerpoint presentation or microsoft word just highlight this your molecule you want to copy Control c and then open your microsoft office document here and then Control v so it's all there in the right proportion same for this chromatogram highlight this Control c copy and then Control v and suppose you want to edit it you don't have to copy this back into the same program you can actually edit from here you can just double click here you see they will just bring you out to this new file the document there's some more magical things you can do highlight the whole structure right click you go to analysis give you chemical formula wow that's so fast and analysis you can have exact mass wow brilliant and mass to the charge ratio for your mass spec analysis what else is there oh you can click oh everything pops out you see it's all done for you save you a lot of time so you can put those time into good use spend more time with your loved ones mm, you can also change the charge so I click on this lone pair positive charge uh, negative charge let's say I want to put it here you see then it becomes O minus not OH yeah and one more time you see that now the bottom part here will change as well you see okay you see the error because oxygen can't have a double bond and negative charge right so I can delete this again and let's say I put one more bond here alright you see the O takes an error because O when you have three bonds you should take a positive charge so let's give it a positive charge right here putting onto the oxygen ah you see now it's fine alright so no worries it's very easy safe and happy working I will advise all of you just play around and get better for this program it's not that hard as it seems all you just all you gotta do is just to spend time and work on it <laughs> thank you i hope you enjoy it any questions please ask me i'll see you soon good day